Hey Mosh friends, it's me, Miss Christy, and welcome to our video on the life cycle of plants. By the end of this video, you will be able to identify the different stages a plant goes through during its life cycle. You will be able to tell the difference between flowering and non-flowering plants, so the differences in how plants reproduce. And you'll be able to tell the different parts of a flower through a plant dissection. Can't wait to get started. So let's jump in. Plants undergo a life cycle. They are living organisms. So all living things have to go through a life cycle. Think about the life cycles we just saw. The life cycle of frogs, the life cycle of butterflies. They all have that same line going through them. You have birth, you have growth, you have reproduction, you have death. Plants, they go through sort of the same cycle, but it's different. Plants go through five different stages. The first stage of a plant life cycle is seeds. We have a little seed here. Now, the seed is like a baby plant. It's the embryo of a plant. And a lot of times, these embryos, these seeds, have a hard outer shell. Think of whenever you um, are maybe on a long car ride, right? And you stop by the gas station with your parents and you get a bag of sunflower seeds and you're sitting there in the back of the car trying to crack open that hard shell to get to the yummy little seed inside. Well, that's what this is. This hard casing protects the seed. So stage one, seeds. After my seed finds a good place to grow, it will start its germination stage. But wait, the seed doesn't have legs. It can't walk. So how does my seed find the right place? Well, different seeds have different ways of being moved or being dispersed, pushed around, moved around. Imagine a bird, for example. A bird flies in, finds a nice little pile of seeds, scoops it up with its beak, eats it all up, and flies away. Well, after a while, inside that bird's digestive system, the seed goes through the digestive process. And a couple days, even a couple hours later, the bird poops out a seed. So that's one way that seeds can move out. They can move out through the inside of animals. Um, seeds also can attach to things. So um, like if you're walking through a grassy field and you have some socks on and then you look down, you have all these little things on your sock. Well, those are seeds. That's the way seeds can move from one place to another. But we can talk about that more later. Once a seed finds the right place, it will go into the, like I said, germination stage. So that hard outer shell cracks open. The seed starts to grow roots and leaves and we get what we call a seedling or a little sprout. Then over time, the seedling goes into its growth stage. It gets bigger, the roots run deeper. You start to get leaves and branches and the plant eventually grows to maturity, plant adulthood, where it becomes able to reproduce. Now plant reproduction is a little different because we like to classify plants on the ways they reproduce. You have flowering plants and non-flowering plants. And we are gonna talk about those in depth here in a few more moments, but let's finish up our cycle. So after the plants reproduce, the um, process of pollination, fertilization, things like that, then you get the formation of new seeds and the cycle starts all over again. Now I can sit here and tell you about the different stages, but I think it'd really help for you guys to see it in action. Unfortunately, we don't have a few months to a few years to try to watch a plant grow, but I do have a really cool video to show you the growth of a lima bean, what happens to a lima bean when we 
allow it to grow. So while you're watching this clip, go ahead and see if you can identify the different stages of this pickle. Roll the clip. Cool, right? So now that we can identify the stages of a plant's life cycle, let's talk more about that reproduction stage. I mentioned earlier that we have flowering and non-flowering plants. Well, those are the ways that these plants reproduce. Now, I'm about to throw some science terms at you guys, so get ready. Flowering plants are called angiosperms. Angiosperms. Now, angiosperm comes from the Greek words um, angion, which means case. So think of like a briefcase or like a holder. And sperma, which is seed. So angiosperm is like a seed case, a seed holder. You can imagine the petals of a flower coming up and holding those seeds. So flowering plants, angiosperm, seed holder. Petals are like holding the seed. That's how I like to remember it. So if flowering plants are angiosperms, non-flowering plants are called gymnosperms. Gymnos has Greek origins meaning naked. <laughs> so gymnosperms means naked seeds. Gymnosperms, naked seeds. So think of pine trees or fir trees or oak trees, trees like that. They don't have flowers, they're non-flowering, right? They have, a pine tree has pine cones and that is like a naked seed. Now right here is a great place for you to pause the video and I want you to go outside and try to find an angiosperm, so a flowering plant, hint, hint, flower, and a gymnosperm, naked, a non-flowering, 
sempre mais. Awesome. I hope you guys found some really cool things. So now let's talk about gymnosperms or non-flowering plants. These trees behind me are longleaf vines. Pine trees are gymnosperms. They have naked seeds. Pine trees are what we call conifers. Conifers have both male and female cones. Now, the life cycle of a tree, or a pine tree for example, is something like this. You start out with your seed. Your seed is carried and it finds the right place. When it finds the right place, the seed breaks open and it starts to form the roots and the branches and then it starts its growth process. It grows. Now, it takes about 25 to 30 years for a tree to reach maturity. When that tree reaches adulthood, it can start to reproduce. It generates or it produces male and female cones, conifers. Now, these male cones fertilize the female cones. So, for example, I have a flower on my male cone. And so, when the female cone is fertilized, it will then begin to produce seeds. The seeds are then carried away and the cycle starts all over again. All right, so now let's head to my backyard to check out some angiosperms or some flowering plants. And go. So welcome to my backyard. This is where we are going to look at flowering plants. So angiosperms. The plant behind me is called a lantana. I know I'm saying it wrong. If you do know how to say it, please drop us a comment um, on our Mosh Connect page. But this is a flowering plant. It reproduces through pollination. Now, pollination, have you ever heard that term before? Some of you might have, but pollination is how flowering plants reproduce. And it goes like this. The male part of the flower, the stigma, releases pollen. Our little friend, the bee, likes to go from flower to flower to flower to flower, right? It likes to flower hop. Well, when Mr. and Mrs. Bee lands on a flower, all that pollen is pushed up on its body. So it collects pollen on it, whether it knows it or not. And then once that bee is kind of covered in pollen, it goes to another flower. And as it lands on that flower, some of the pollen falls off, but it picks up more pollen and takes that pollen to the next flower and to the next flower. And so as the bee flower hops, it starts to fertilize these other flowers. And once these flowers are fertilized, you get the same seed formation. And I do have a quick little clip of my friend Benton, the bee, scooting around the plant behind me. Isn't he cute? So now that we have seen how plants reproduce, we have angiosperms and gymnosperms, let's go over to Miss Chloe and watch how she dissects a flower. I want you to keep an eye out on the stigma, so the male part of the flower, and the ovary, the female part of the flower. And if you like what you've seen here, please feel free to uh, drop us a donation. Every little bit helps. I can't wait to see what you guys find and discover, so be sure to take pictures and tag us on social media using at MoshJax. I'll see you guys soon. Mosh Connect relies on support from our community. If you like what you just saw, please consider donating at www.themosh.org and give us a like on social media at Mosh Jacks so you can stay connected.